Hi, my name is Mary Kay Rohanna, and as part of a class project, I am interviewing Carrie Miller from Portersville, Pennsylvania. Discussing um, the tragedy of September 11th, and um, as I'm interviewing her, she'll be giving me um, things that were happening in her life and what she recalls of the day. So, on September 11th, do you remember what was happening? What were you doing? Uh, I was home, and my mom called me and woke me up in the morning when the first plane hit the towers and uh, told me to turn the news on. So I got up, and um, then we didn't know, you know, when the first hit, that they just thought that was an accident. And, and then uh, we were watching, and we saw the second one hit, and, and we all knew it wasn't. <laughs> so I exactly. went outside and told my husband, and uh, he had the kids home with me that day. There was pretty little yet, so. Exactly. So, the impact itself, um, what did it have on your life since then? How has it, has it changed anything? Uh, I think certainly we're, you're, we're all more aware of the threats and what can happen. And, uh, you know, I was working, I had to go to work that night, and at the post office and uh, my good friend's daughter was visiting New York and she was just hysterical because she couldn't get a hold sure. of her and uh, I guess her daughter then had been there on the street and saw people jumping and, and how terrible it was. Oh and, my. Um, yeah, we had uh, a prayer. Uh, we stopped work at the post office and of course they all gave us briefings on how safe we were there. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. And uh, they had had a prayer which is surprising. and. Uh, that's just something that's stuck with me. So now, like, when you travel, are you more cautious of who's on the plane? Uh, I haven't been on a plane <laughs> since then. <laughs> I just, I don't, uh, you know, I don't want to take the kids anywhere on a plane, and I, I don't, uh, I don't know, I'm not, not interested in flying anywhere <laughs> after that. I can see why.